Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading. How are you? In this reading I will be looking at the current energies, the person on your mind, new person coming in and other details. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well and I invite you to subscribe because I post daily three videos per day based on the elements. So today is air signs, tomorrow is uh, water signs and so on. But please check the schedule, it is in the description box below this video if you are interested to know about the order of readings for each day. Let's start. Let's shuffle three more times the deck. What are the energies around you? Somebody wants to talk, is highly motivated, but they are keeping this energy inside themselves. They are very guarded because they have trust issues or are not confident. So there's a mixture of a person that wanting to jump into this, but holding back and just watching it instead. This is the current energy. I have Earth, Fire, might be Aries here, mostly Air, Earth and uh, Air, Earth and Aries. Something has stopped or is walking very slowly here. What is affecting you in your subconscious? It was a very passionate, intensive connection, a special one, but somebody might have made another choice. This is what is affecting you in your subconscious. Let's see about what was the main challenge. The differences or disagreements were so big and vast that they couldn't be reconciled. And somebody might have not been that patient as well. What you want to avoid is feeling stuck, mind stuck into this uh, situation, not finding a solution, uh, a solution to this on how to make this work you want to find the solution but you can't find that solution this is causing you stress or doubts and what you want to focus is on a more mature partner somehow you fear that their actions were very mature and this may continue they might not have changed that much. This is your fear. Some of you are thinking about communication. Will they ever talk? Will they ever express anything? Or probably they have lost that fire about this connection and that's why uh, the communication is not coming. That is your fear about the page of wands. Before jumping back to this person that is on your mind, let's first quickly see the new person coming in if you are looking for a new person what is the energy of the next new person coming in a person that is very focused in their internal energy so very focused in themselves their job their career they might appear not that mature in the beginning this will start as a friendship first or this might be your friend you might have a current friendship with them and this might move to a relationship. But one of you needs to be healed from something. It's not... Uh, there needs more healing. One of you or both of you in order for this relationship to be healthy and stable. For some of you, there's some distance involved. And because of that, there might be some dramas, fights, disagreements. But the chemistry is very strong. So I see a mixture uh, of fights, dramas, love, passion, intensity. So it's a spicy connection. Maybe too spicy. And probably very unreliable. What is the, the advice? Take it slow. Be patient. Don't, run, uh, don't rush into 
conclusions immediately. Try to be patient. Because this person is confused, this person needs more time, is indecisive. Some of you dealing with a Libra. I have Sagittarius here as well. Fixed signs are here. Look, this is quite interesting because in the beginning, this might be a very rough uh, a connection with rough edges. And it might give you the impression that this is not going to work or this is too much. But at the bottom, I have the world. I have the four of wands, five of pentacles, seven of wands. It has potential to be uh, a normal, healthy uh, relationship for you to be to celebrate the love with this person. It has that potential for you to move in together, live in the same house and be together, like making this official. Somebody might want to move location to relocate in order for you to be together. So the first part of this interaction might be a bit rough with some bumps in the road, but it is the test of this is a test. How much do you want this? Or will you just give up on the first uh, setback or challenge in the road? That's the kind of energy I'm getting. So if you navigate those bumps in the road um, patiently and with optimism in the beginning, this has potential to be something really serious and long term. Okay, let's continue with the person that is on your mind. What are their energies? Ten of Wands. Okay, I do see this person being highly pessimistic about the future of this. That's why they are not taking action. They think this might not be that healthy, not happy, not long-term. It feels heavy, like a big burden. What is something good, they think, if it is uh, for the connection that it can be stable but it needs for you to be much more consistent and patient with each other so they see uh, some stability as uh, some stability as a possible uh, future here but you both need to take this one step at a time and not rush this but are you willing to be that patient to take the time and to walk through those ups and downs here. So they do see potential, but it needs lots of work. It needs lots of time. They want to communicate about something. What do they want to communicate about? They are not quite sure if a restart would be successful, so they want to communicate to see if there's still potential for you to get back together. Now, from the outside, without them being involved or talking to you, they don't think this has potential. So they do have some interest, but they want to just clarify it or be certain that what they feel or what is their intuition telling is true. And that's why they want to talk. Somehow they want to apologize about something that happened as well. So communication is on their mind, but they don't have high hopes. What is the possible future, near future with this situation? Feeling very... Okay. Waiting for each other. Holding still that fire and desire not expressing that fire and desire and passion to each other, holding it to oneself for both of you. Desiring communication, but I don't expect it happening that fast because somebody or both of you are overthinking this. You both are overthinking this situation. What is your uh, energy towards this? Or how do you view this situation? Let's see about that. Nine of Cups. It is telling me that you you want to give this another chance, but you don't trust them completely. 
you wish to be with them, but you wish to be happy and more content as well in a connection. And you are longing for more stability. Okay, if you want to know even more details about this person that is on your mind and some of your energies, there's an extended video in the description box below with even more details about the current energies. Gemini, this was your reading. I hope this was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. It helps a lot the channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I pause daily. Thank you for watching. Wishing you all the best. And I will see you the next reading. Bye for now.